Now I will explain to you about the signal function. For a function r to r, a signal function is divide, defined as fx is equal to 1 if x is greater than 0. So for all values of x greater than 0, y is equal to 1. Okay. y is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 if x is less than 0. This is called the signal function. So the value of y is equal to 1 if x is equal to 0. So let's say x is equal to 0, so value of y will be 1. Somewhere will be let me just change it. So in a signal function, let's say Let's see how it goes. If y is equal to 1, if x is greater than 0. So x is greater, x is 0 is here. If x is 1, then also y is 1. If x is 2, then also y is 2. So you form this line and you say y is equal to 1. y is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. So this is another point that you have in a signal function. And y is equal to minus 1 if x is less than 0. Now, x is less than 0 is on this side, which you cover, which is your x dash x. So, y is equal to minus 1 if x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 if x is equal to 2. So, effectively, this is a line which comes parallel to this. What is happening here is y is equal to 1 would mean that this is a constant, and we know that a constant line based on the constant function that we learned earlier, is always parallel to the x-axis. This is how you draw the graph of the signal function. 